Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So in today's video, I thought I would do a continuation of this uh, dish here. And in my previous video, I did actually apply some milliput to a couple of chips just here and another one I don't know if you can see just here. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to sand it down ready for painting. Now I've got some a bag here of various different grades of sandpaper and I like to start off with a fairly coarse-ish sandpaper and then I like to work my way down so it becomes finer and finer and in the end I like to use, let's just get some here, a micro mesh sandpaper which is almost like a material and as you can see it's a 12,000 so it really is very fine and it almost makes it like glass ready for painting. So let's start with just this bit here actually, let's start on the small parts here. And so as I say I'm using a coarse sandpaper here and when you do buy a pack they tend to have the grade on the back here. So for instance this is a thousand. Now we're going coarse, but obviously you don't want to be scratching your item either. So again, here we have one which is 12,000, so that's even lighter. And you can put them into order to make things more simple. So when I get my piece of sandpaper here, as I say, I'm starting with a slightly higher grade. And we're just very gently just going to sand. You can start off going both ways to begin with. But when you get closer to the edge and we start to use a finer sandpaper, you almost just want to put pressure from the item, the original, towards the milliput here. Otherwise you end up with a ridge, you don't want to be just going backwards and forwards. So we just give that a very light sand here to get rid of most of the bulk. And as I did actually say in my previous video, if you've actually applied the milliput and it's and it's fairly flush you have a lot of a quicker job it's easier to do you're not there sanding forever in a day so just sands and that's all along and then on the other side here so as I say at the moment I'm applying pressure on both sides so we can just get a really good sand here And then you can just feel it to see how it feels and you can sort of feel whether if, if it's sort of becoming slightly more flush or not. So again I'm just coming on from the other angle here. And I will just keep sanding like so. Now I can feel and I can see it's almost the same sort of shape as the original so I'm going to leave that for the moment and just finish off on the under part here. Now this is the point where you want to start just when you're sanding to sand from the original towards the milliput rather than backwards and forwards. So I'm using a very light one now I think it's going to be a thousand and so I've got the sandpaper and now I like to work from the original heading towards the milliput here so we don't end up with a ridge. So just applying a bit more pressure and then on the other side and I'll just keep working along until this is fairly flush. I'm working from the other angle. You want it to be as flush as possible, you don't want to feel any ridges there and it's looking really smooth and then when I'm feeling it I like to close my eyes, take my finger and just work along so then you're not using your sense of your eyes and you can really 
focus on whether this is flush and nice and smooth and I'm feeling it now and I can feel just one small little ridge so we just finish off with the last bit of sand again I'm working from the original towards the milliput and that feels by closing my eyes that feels pretty good there just a little bit more and then on the other side just again I like to feel almost there and feeling underneath and then we just go to our last before we use our micro mesh I'm just going to go to one lighter one which is the I think it's the 12,000 here so sorry the 1200 so as you can see it says 1200 and so I'm just going to take a little bit off and again from the item heading towards the milliput just applying a little bit more pressure but fairly light now if you do rub too far into the milliput and you do end up with a ridge I would suggest actually stopping and applying more milliput to the area um, and just wait for that to dry and then re-sand feeling pretty good and then just on the other side done that little chip there that's all ready now feels lovely and flush ready for our painting and now we have also the larger piece here which will take a bit more time and as you can see it's got a few indentations so it's slightly more tricky um, so again we will start off with a slightly um, more abrasive not too abrasive obviously sandpaper and so we just take our piece and find it here and again I'm working away from the original item towards the milliput here otherwise I'm shaking the table and again it's the same principle but obviously we're working with the contours of our item here so again just keep working along on from from the original towards the milliput and then feeling along now sometimes we have some really tricky items which you know we've got indentations and it's hard to get to them and you can also if you do have something such as that you could get a cocktail stick or for instance a toothbrush or even a brush and you would actually take your sandpaper and you could roll it so then for instance you could actually get in there by just using your your other item wrapped up within the sandpaper and again that could be really useful but it obviously it depends on what you've got and the shape of the original so for our case we just need to hold it and just work with it now obviously I like to break pieces off with this sandpaper otherwise you end up with a huge amount and also not forgetting the underneath so as you can see here there's quite a lot of work to do so again we're using slightly more uh, coarser sandpaper right so as you can see guys I'm really sanded down to almost where you can always see where the chip has come uh, been made and where we, where we fixed it with the milliput and this is feeling fairly smooth now so now we need to go to another level so I'm just going to go a little bit lighter and I think we use a 1200 here and again I'm just move using and applying pressure from the original although you don't want to scratch the original so you want to be quite careful but in a slightly light way towards the milliput 
I'm feeling to make sure that there's no ridges. And this is almost there now. And then I like to use again the 1200, so getting even lighter. Again, just applying pressure towards rather than the other way. And then I like to finish off with the micro mesh because that's feeling really good now and it's almost ready for painting. And there we go, there's our dish already. So we've actually sanded the parts here, sort of the major parts. So we've actually sanded that already for painting. And also on the other side, if I can find it now, oh, just this little, little bit here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and consider uh, subscribing and also a thumbs up if you found the video useful. And in next week's video, I am going to be doing some painting. So we're going to be filling in just, you know, just these little bits here and of course on here. So with a bit of blue and white paint and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.